Greetings and welcome to part four of the clarinet series using essential elements. Right now we're focusing on the orange belt for band karate. This is going to go through uh, 41 to 58 in your book starting on page 10. So let's get right into it. So at the very top of page 10 in the orange box it talks about eighth notes. So uh, each eighth note is half a beat. So an eighth note looks like quarter notes, right? Except they're barred together. Uh, so at this point in time, you're going to have two eighth notes, and you're going to put them uh, two on a beat. So if your quarter note is bum, 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 or do, 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 eighth notes, they're going to have two on a beat. So it's going to be do, day, 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 do, day. Let's look at number 41. It's called Eighth Note Jam. So it starts off with four eighth note Fs, then two quarter note Fs, then it goes into four quarter note or four eighth note Gs and one quarter note G and a rest. So let's hear how number 41 is going to sound. It has a repeat at the end. So notice those eighth notes are quite a bit faster than your quarter notes. I'm going to be listening to make sure uh, that those are uh, different, okay, that they're different lengths. What we don't want is this. That was not paying attention to the length of note. The length of note is just as important as the action note you're playing. Okay, let's look at number 42. Skip to my loo for a little more practice using these eighth notes. It's a two-liner. Notice that in 42 skip to my loo at the very beginning after the 4-4, four, four, remember the 4-4 four, four tells you that there's four beats in every measure or box of music? Notice that underneath that first E you have an MF. We talked a little bit about dynamics in the last video. Dynamics is your volume control. That tells you how loud or how soft to play. So M is mezzo, F is forte, uh, mezzo is medium, forte is loud. So it's a medium loud, just your kind of your regular playing volume. Looking at number 43, long, long ago, this is repeated, but I'm just going to play it once. Notice that the dynamic level in here, there's a little P. That stands for piano, which is soft. <laughs> Number 44 is kind of fun as well. Oh, Susanna, there's not a ton of eighth notes, but you see two eighth notes as your pickups in this one. The whole thing in this one is forte, which is loud. <laughs> On page 11, at the very top of the page, you notice that they have a new time signature called 2-4. So we talked about how the top number tells you how many beats are in every box or measure of music. 4-4, four, four, the top number 4, mean, meant that there were 4 beats of music. It could be made up of 1 whole note, because 1 whole note is 4 beats. It could be made up of 4 quarter notes, or it could be made up of 2 half notes, because each of those is 2 beats, or a combination of them, notes and rests. Now in 2-4, that means there are going to be 2 beats in every box or measure of music. Okay, uh, it's going to sound the same to you. Uh, the beat doesn't really change. It just means that in every box there's going to be two beats. So let's look at number 47, two by two. This one has two four times, so there's going to be two beats in every measure. <laughs> Number 48 is your first Orange Belt song. Congratulations! This one has a pickup at the beginning. It is forte for the entire song, so it's loud. Two four times, so there's two beats in every measure. Also, right above it, it has this 
the, it has this word called allegro. Look in the orange box above. <clears throat> it says tempo markings. Tempo is the speed of music. Okay, so they usually write it right above that first, you know, those first notes in your music. It's the speed. So allegro in Italian is fast. Moderato or moderate is a nice medium tempo. Andante is slow, like a slow walking tempo. Not really slow, but slower than what you would normally play, perhaps. Here is high school cadets. <laughs> careful attention to the rhythm on there. Remember, your rhythm is how long and how short your notes are going to be. What a lot of kids do when they first play this is they go like this. There is absolutely no thought in that playing about how long to play a particular note. Make sure, short, short, long, eighth, eighth, quarter, eighth, 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 eighth quarter. You've got those beats. The, eighth, the quarter notes must be longer than your eighth notes. All right, look at number 49. <clears throat> hey ho, nobody's home. Another new note, note A. Okay, so we've had high A, which is this one. Low A is two fingers on the bottom. Make sure you're using these two keys, okay? Sounds like this. <laughs> Again, I love the low register of the clarinet. It sounds really meaty and yummy, okay? So that is a low A. This is a good time to discuss about writing in notes. By this point, I hope you're not writing in your notes on your songs anymore because now that we've got eighth notes, you've got uh, whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, eighth notes. So if you write an A on that first note in Hey Ho Nobody's Home, you're not going to know how long to play it. You're also not going to know, do you play low A or high A? So being able to read the music right on the musical staff is a skill you're going to have to practice. Okay? So here is Hey Ho, Nobody's Home. you notice another box with dynamics. You've had your dynamics of forte, mezzo forte, mezzo piano, and piano, loud going to soft, but now we're going to learn about gradually turning that volume up and down with these dynamic markings. We have a crescendo, sounds like increase, which means you have that little point going bigger, it means to increase your volume, get louder. You also have a decrescendo, which means to decrease your volume, which means get louder to 51 on page 11 in your Essential Elements book <clears throat> is called Play <coughs> the Dynamics. It starts off with a piano, and then it has a crescendo up to a forte, and then it has a decrescendo back down to a piano. <laughs> by this point I'm skipping a lot of the repeat signs just to save time on our videos. You know how to read the sign. That's the most important thing. Turn the page with me to page 12 in your book. All right, we're going to go right to number 54. This is your next Orange Belt song, 54, called Frere Jaca. Two-liner, it is repeated, uh, and we're just going to play it once for the purposes of this video. Notice, 2-4 time signature, so two beats in every measure. You have a mezzo forte, an MF, under the first note, so a nice medium, medium loud, uh, dynamic, or volume. On the second line, halfway through, you see it goes to forte, so we have a nice loud ending. Once again, when it comes to any dynamic markings, you only play as loud or as soft as you can have a good tone. Okay, and there are certain occasions where a forte uh, in one location sh should sound louder than a forte in another location. Okay, we don't need to make huge, humongous dynamic changes. More some that are musically musically tasteful is what we're going for. <laughs> Fifty-eight 
is your last Orange Belt song. <clears throat> this is called Hard Rock Blues. Everyone's favorite. Everyone loves this one. Notice four, four times, so four beats in every measure. You start off forte and you stay forte. We all love to play loud. Come on. We really do. And it's allegro, so it should be played fairly fast. <clears throat> this one I'll probably play twice. I will do the repeat sign on this one because I like to do the rest a couple ways. Uh, and you'll see how I like to count them. Rest, half, rest. Rest, half, rest. Rest, half, rest. Rest, rest. Rest, rest. Rest, rest, rest repeat. to rest by saying what it is, rest or half rest. Um, sometimes it's easier, and I often, when I'm playing myself, will like to count rests in the beat that it comes in on the measure. Because in every measure, in this case, there's four beats. So in the first measure, we have beats one, two, three, and four, one for the first, and then so beat two, three, and four in that measure are rest. So that's why I was going two, three, four. It helps you keep your place in the measure a little bit better. I hope that helps. Uh, remember, Try not to write your notes in. Also, be using that tongue, keeping those cheekies in. Just a couple of good reminders to keep you going. Keep practicing every day. The next video is going to focus on the green belt.